I can imagine, but you can correct me, of course, uh, if I misassume uh, it, mm -hmm. um, that now, yeah, you've, it's the third album, you have already booked some success with the previous ones. And yeah. how do you feel now that maybe, I can imagine working on the first record that it's just about maybe if you like it and maybe the, the audience is already a step away, how, but right. now you already know that people are waiting for it. Uh, yeah, it will be criticized. Is that uh -huh. a different way of, of maybe writing? Does it affect you in a way? No, the, the, I'll admit that before Contra came out, I, I was nervous. I think everybody was. We felt confident in the album, but we still felt a little bit insecure. You know, when you've only released one record, even a successful record, you kind of wonder, well, so we have fans, but are they real fans? Like, can you really be a true fan of a band who only made one record? You feel a little bit insecure. And then once Contra came out and did well, I really felt like a sense of stability. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that this album was simple to make, but it, really, but it really allowed us to mostly just focus on the creative challenge of pleasing ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, I, I'm just not that worried. Um, I feel... Uh, I feel happy with what we came up with, so, you know. But do you feel that you are, are changed? Because I can imagine maybe touring a successful album that you sort of get fed up maybe in the, with your own material and that you maybe want to take a big step away from it and approach things from a whole new perspective. Well, is, is that the case for you? Or? We, we don't like to repeat ourselves, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Um, certain vibes start to feel boring after a while and um, we would never disavow our previous work. We're still very proud of the first two albums, but of course, yeah. we uh, we don't want to disrespect the first two albums either by by dropping a shittier version of them. You know, I don't. There, that just seems like such a a bad idea. Mm -hmm. So there's not really. We just try to to focus on what feels fresh to us, and you know, three years later, new things feel fresh to us, um, and that's it's pretty easy guideline to follow. Is it in short, is there a certain ambition you had, maybe a dream before actually starting on the record or some idea that how, how you would like it to be in a way, a vision? Well, I think everybody had different visions. I had a vision that I thought it could be this really like dark, epic uh, dance hall album. And um, I didn't know exactly what that meant, but I did imagine this kind of like, I don't know, something like Horace Andy meets Radiohead or something like that, you know, some, and, and I like th that idea of, of that kind of, you know, like minor key dark, it's like dance hall with a kind of grandeur. I don't think this album ended up being that at all, but having ideas like that can sometimes just, it, it's, an, it's an important part of the process. Where did the darkness get lost a little bit? There's still some darkness. Um, which in some ways is the most exciting part because uh, this album has a lot of new uh, emotional territory or just some new moods that maybe people would not have guessed we were capable of. Maybe we would not have thought we were capable of on the first record. But it's nice to explore some new territory and still feel like, yeah, but it still sounds like Vampire Weekend. What moods would, would that be? Well, like the song Hudson. A lot of people hear that and think it's, it sounds a little spooky or something. And, you know, when people talked about us when we first came out, you know, it's words like springtime, summer, fun. And I think we're still fun. <laughs> and, and I think we still, like, we still have a sense of playfulness in our music. But uh, it's nice to realize that, you know, we can move into some other feelings too and, and still feel like ourselves. And that's mm -hmm. the most important thing. Yeah, because I can imagine if you get booked as a festival band, maybe audience expect a certain energy or... Right, well, yeah, it's, yeah. you know, for us, we've, uh, we had so few songs to choose from for a long time, we could only play one kind of set. But now it's kind of exciting to think that with three albums, we can actually tailor things a little differently. And I think a lot of songs on this album, I'm really excited to play at festivals. They're going to be big and fast and energetic and they'll sound great next to some of the older ones. Mm -hmm. And then some of the songs are going to sound a lot better um, when we play our own show. Maybe in some nice theater, or, you know, outdoors at night, not like a mellow night. So it's, it's cool as we, I guess, build a catalog or build like a kind of a foundation to feel like 
to feel like we, we can choose some different moods. We have some different building blocks and materials. Okay. Um, yeah, I was, um, I was wondering, you described, if you used the word trilogy uh, for a moment. Is mm -hmm. that as you see it? And if so, how would you describe the, the three chapters in, in briefly? Well, we always had this vague feeling that maybe the first three albums would be kind of a unit. But of course, you can only plan that so much. And now that we finished it, I look backwards, I really feel like they are. And, you know, we, we made sure of it in some ways that, you know, if you, when you get all three CDs and you line them up together and you look at the side and you look at the top, it really looks like a, a unit, like they're meant to go together. Um, and then also just musically, naturally, uh, each chapter is a little different, but then there's certain things... I can, I, you know, I can list a million connections between the first and the second album, second and third, third and first. You know, it's fun to go through it in that way.